whatever. So I have allergies. Like literally, I've been just praying that this stuff kicks in. I wanted to keep my word because so many people were excited about the conversation and I didn't go live. I've been having allergies. One thing about Texas, which is about to make me fly, get on a plane like this weekend and be done. I have allergies when I'm in Texas randomly. And if I don't catch it, it just goes on for a couple days. Hey guys, make sure you guys can hear me okay. What's going on? What's going on? So just pray that this kicks in. I don't have to take off all my makeup because I was like, I just need my face to be clean and clear because I need to breathe, okay? And I don't know, it's just weird. When I took my makeup off, I felt better. <laughs> so what's up, everybody? I want to talk about, we still are going to talk about the six-figure business lessons. And I love, 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 love this conversation because um, the top questions I get asked um, from my members for other things like, like for example, Short Hair Boot Camp, just to take an example for products. Short hair boot camp is something that I use. Thank you, Cindy Lou. Oh, thank you. Um, short hair boot camp. I know I'm allergic to Texas, huh? <laughs> you guys are having too much fun. So short hair boot camp live is a business that I created where I teach hairdressers how to do like the Holly Berry short hairstyle. Hold on, y'all. Like the Holly Berry short hairstyle. Um, I teach the hairdressers how to do it so that they can be absolutely amazing and create um, systematic short hair results. And so the number one question, the cool thing is that everybody buys the course because they want to learn how to do the hairstyle. But the number one question everybody has is, oh, I don't have clients. And so, and then the other part is, how do you get clients to come back and blah, blah, blah. It's always about business. How do you do the money? Money, blah, blah, blah. So um, I take shots once a month. That's what I need. My friends who live here take shots once a month on it. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? So if you guys are wondering why I look crazy, um, I have allergies, hence why I'm sitting here. I just took some Flonase, so we'll see. Anyway, I just took my makeup off because I just couldn't deal. I, I'm not going to be cute. I want to talk about resourcefulness. So the night before last, we talked about resourcefulness. Thank you for the J-Best prayer. You're welcome. I'm excited about that. Make sure you guys catch the morning time. So resourcefulness. It's so powerful. Anybody remember what we talked about the night before last about resourcefulness? Anybody want to tell me their definition before I read it? Somebody, somebody sent me a message and was like, Keisha, we know you read every definition. Yup, you are so right. I love definitions. Oh, yes, that morning tea was so good. Wasn't it good? Shoot, I almost start crying on y'all about to come on now. You look amazing. Thank you, Cindy Lou. I love you, girl. Okay, so look. Anybody want to tell me before I read the actual definition of resourcefulness, do you remember what resourcefulness... Right, Lynn. Now, who can go deeper? Lynn says using what you have. Okay, but who can go deeper? Who can go deeper? What's in the... It, the definition was very specific. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to read the definition for you. If I can pull it back up. Oh, my God, y'all. This is going to be a short live stream because I ain't going to be sneezing. Uh, resourceful. Where did my definition go? Okay, there we go. I don't see you guys going deep enough. Let's see. Oh, really? Um, Annette, Annette, Annette is Annette is giving me tips about flow night. She said it made her have polyps. Oh wow. Okay, that's not good. You about to give me strength? <laughs> okay, forget about it. You guys are talking about my allergies. So listen, resourcefulness is having the ability to find quick and clever ways to overcome difficulties. So having the ability, look at this. I'm, I have the ability to overcome anything that tries to attack your girl, okay? So it's about having the ability to find quick and clever ways. So a lot of people sit at home waiting for traffic for their business. A lot of us sit at home waiting for the day when we will be financially uh, intelligence. A lot of us sit at home and wait for the day that we're going to like go to the gym or work out or whatever the case may be. At the end of the day, each and every one of us have some way that we can be resourceful. You know what I love is when I meet someone with a disability and they do doing more than me. I'm just saying. I love when I meet someone with a disability and they're doing more than me. Like, what in the world? That... <clears throat> That shows me, right, right, 
When you, I've met people with no arms, no legs, or legs but can't walk, and they like, they got it a whole system, and it's going down, and their life is amazing, and they're so excited, and they're so on fire. And then you look at other people, or I look at myself, and I go, look at me with the nerve to complain, or the nerve to act and walk a certain, walk around a certain way when people are out here doing better. So, let's talk about my number two resource. Now, I, I, I made you guys a free download. It looks like this. <laughs> I'm about to get off live stream, y'all. I can't be doing all this sneezing. But I wanted to keep my word about what time I said I would come on. So, I made you guys some free downloads. When you go to LakeishaMichelle.com, all you have to do is join the newsletter. And you'll get this, right? And I talk about, I have the worksheet from when we did Mindset. And then I also gave you um, just kind of a worksheet with some free business resources that I use. Now, when I first started doing business, contrary to what everybody thinks, you think you need a whole bunch of money to start something. Everybody wants to draw out a business plan. Everybody wants to just do all these long things. And at the end of the day, it doesn't take much to go to market with your product, okay? And what that means is it don't take much to sell something. If you think you want to sell something, just freaking sell it, right? And so what I did, I got very resourceful at the very beginning of business. I started thinking about how I was going to get my customers. I started thinking about how I was going to do business and stuff when I was in beauty school. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to start now. Something just told me to start now and stop waiting until when I get out of school. And what's interesting is I began to stop looking at the limitations that were in school because it was school was controlling. School is this. School tells you what to do. School is making you do hair and they taking all the money and blah, blah, blah. That's what everybody was saying. But you know what? Good business people see opportunities. They do not see obstacles. I'm going to say that again. Good business people see opportunities they don't see obstacles and so you have it's and it's a conditioning you have to train yourself all the time to see a certain way i talk about it all the time like lisa nichols says putting on your possibility lenses okay so instead of seeing what you're gonna lose what's not gonna happen you know blah 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 then you need to look at what 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 am i gonna gain from doing this right and what are the possibilities because if you go somewhere, most people talk about, like, for example, hairstylists. Hairstylists say, you know, in my city, there's no whatever. All I see is possibility. Because even if it's not happening in your city, there's always that person who makes it happen. Why? Because they saw possibility instead of an obstacle. And remember, the definition of resourcefulness is having the ability to find quick and clever ways to overcome difficulties. Come on, somebody. Y'all... Thank y'all for bearing with me in these allergies. So, here's the deal. I, while I was in beauty school, got really resourceful because I didn't have any money, okay? So, but I knew that I needed to get customers. And so, I told you guys one way that I got really resourceful was using the school to print out flyers, right? And I used free websites. I used blogger.com. So, before I ever had a legit website, which I don't even, I don't, I'm not, that's, that's another tangent I'll go on later. But before I had like a, a website that I actually paid for, I used blogger.com. Blogger.com, blogger.com, blogger.com. So with blogger.com, it is a free website. And guess what? It's Google based. Now, here's what's funny. Instead of looking like all the other beauty school students who would be like, oh, we can't do this and we can't do that. Um, I would just literally do stuff. I would get on the internet. Hello, the biggest free free resource ever. I would get on the internet and I would just look up stuff and somehow I stumbled across Blogger. Now, before I understood the internet, before I understood how the internet worked, I took action. I'm gonna say that again because some of you guys are so busy telling the story about I'm not tech savvy. I'm not tech savvy. Ugh. I get so tired of hearing that. Please stop with this story i'm ocd i'm an introvert i'm not tech savvy whatever like i don't have time i'm not gonna give myself a title like that i don't want those kinds of titles and you shouldn't want them either boom so before i ever got into that i just said i'm gonna get on this internet and figure it out i don't know what i was doing i was just typing asking questions to this thing because to me google is the, is like a genius like it, it knows all the answers like it knows all the answers. So I'm just going to go and ask Google. <laughs> all my doctor friends hate that because they're like, everybody always coming in here with these self-diagnoses from Google. 
And I'm like, mm, I love Google. Because like a minute ago, I, I, I took a Zyrtec this morning. And I took a children's Zyrtec. Ugh. Anyway, so then I went to go buy this. So then before I bought it, I went on Google. And I was like, Google, can I take Zyrtec and Flonase at the same time? Am I going to die? Google's amazing. Free resource. You should just be, that should be your BFF. I'm a professional Googler. Anyway. <laughs> so anyway, what's cool is that I got on blogger.com. Now, I didn't know that blogger.com was Google. So who knew? Like, it's the same company. So what happened was I was just using the internet like a person like i wasn't trying to be a professional i was like look at the hairstyles i did i was taking pictures with a little cheap phone and you know posting the pictures on blogger.com and then i would say uh, my name is whatever and you know i was just typing you know black healthy hairstylists sassy funky cuts and is that why you said and just like yes lynn yep that's exactly why i didn't want you to get stuck in the process i'm gonna tell that story in a second so so look Hey guys, so what happened was I got on Blogger and then I didn't understand it. I didn't understand how the internet worked, but I was just in the right place at the right time because I chose to be resourceful instead of worried about, because you know, in beauty school, they're trying to tell you to get ready for business. They're telling you to, um, you know, have business cards and websites. And I'm like, I don't have the money to pay for a website. And so instead of me, but I said, how can I have, how can I not have money and still have a website? Ooh, that was good. Instead of me freaking out, I said, how can I, at this broke state in my life, which is just a moment in time, it's not forever. So while I'm experiencing this for the day, how can I have this? Because, you know, it's here, right? That's the reality. There's no money for the website. But how can I have a website? How about that? Let me not focus on the fact that there's no money. How can I get that website that they keep telling me I need? How can I get that business card that they keep telling me I need? And so what happens is when you start to ask better questions, you begin to get better answers. And so I got excited because I was like, what? Blogger is free. And it's cute. It was. It really looked horrible. But I thought it was cute at the time. And so... I started posting my hairstyles on there. Hey, Tori. So I started posting my hairstyles on Blogger. I think it's still there. I, I'm about to look it up later. But I think it's still there. And so this website, because of how the internet works, the, the internet magic starts to happen. I had no clue. I was putting Dallas, Texas. I was putting my address. I was doing all these things because I'm just trying to let people know where your girl is at. I'm just trying to let people know that I am a committed professional and I'm excited. And even if I can't do it, you know, I'm getting better. I'm a beauty school student. Here are my styles. Trust me. I'm not the creepy beauty school student. I'm the one that's going to make you look like you actually went to a real salon. I was just selling myself, right? I'm really trying to give people hope that I can do a hairstyle. Now, I just go, I got to keep it going because I got, I, got, I got stuff for you guys. So, so as I began to do that, I was, I got addicted because I don't know. I really was just in, intrigued by the internet. So what happened was I kept doing, I was posting every week, every other day on the weekends. I was posting all my styles. And so what happened was I didn't know that because I was active on my blog, I didn't know that because I'm on this free website, just letting people know that I can do some hair. I'm posting. And my clientele went from like, I would post pictures of old white women, old black women, Mexican women, regular old people you know I, I don't know i just every race anybody with some hair you going on my website they didn't even know i was just like oh every, every time i get done i would take the camera i don't have no phone i would take the camera and when they turn around i would be like Ch -ch -ch -ch. and that'll be and take them to the front desk and i was taking them pictures everybody their mom was on the internet i mean <laughs> i was showing the befores and afters like look i don't care what you look like if you got some hair I need you to come on in, okay? And it worked because I was updating on a regular basis. See, some of you guys, there's so many lessons in this. Some of you guys are so tired of being tired of being tired. And you know why you're tired? Because you're focusing on the pain. Who's been watching Good Tea in the morning? Who's been watching the Good Tea for Life with me in the morning times when I talk about, we, we're right now we're talking about the prayer of Jabez. And Jabez's name means pain. And some of you guys are so busy focusing on the pain. You're so busy focusing on the bank account balance. You're so busy focusing on the boyfriend that left, the girlfriend that left, the kids that are acting up. 
And because of all the pain that's happening and the pain that you feel and the pain that you see, you're not taking use of the resources that are right in front of you. So you're saying, oh, God, bless me. But then once you're done talking to God, you go back and you sit down in your pain and you sit and you feel it and you relive it day after day after day. And God is saying, listen, I didn't give you that encounter to make it a whole lifetime movie. That was an encounter. That was a moment in time. But you keep reliving the moment. And so the dream keeps happening over and over. So the more you keep experiencing the pain over and over, the, it, it becomes this movie. It becomes this thing that starts to t get into your blood, into your body, and it makes you sick. It makes you doubtful. It makes you hurt. It makes you struggle. It makes you really just break down. And you're just like, what is happening? I want to do this thing. I feel this tugging and this pull and this thing is resonating with me and there's something more and I'm really sure of that but what I'm also not sure of is what is my life going to be like if I try and I fail what is my life going to be like if I try and I don't know what step to take what is my life going to be like if I try and then people think I'm crazy or blah 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 like what is my life going to be like and so because I don't know what that looks like I'm going to stay in my comfort in my pain because at least I understand how to live and go through life just coping with this scenario and it's that moment there's a picture on the internet and it's a picture of Jesus and he's bending down to a little girl and she's holding on to her teddy bear and Jesus is looking at the little girl and he has his hand out and she's looking at her teddy bear and she's looking up at Jesus and behind him, Jesus has one hand to the girl and one hand behind his back with a massive bear the size of him. Anybody ever seen that picture? It's a beautiful illustration of just what that that really represents us as humans because we are all built to love and to need. And so and we don't like to be lost and we don't want to hurt. And the crazy part is the very things that hurt us. We keep ourselves in the scenario because at least it's familiar. Come on, somebody. I wasn't trying to preach, but somebody, I don't know. That's what just came out. So listen. So the whole thing is this. So the whole thing is this. There is action you can take in whatever state that you're in. There is action that you can take in whatever state that you're in. I'm going to say that again because everybody always has an excuse. Well, that's easy for you to say, Keisha. Okay, let me close my mouth because I've heard Tony Robbins and the rest of them say the same thing. You can either have an excuse or you can look and find the opportunity instead of the obstacle. So many people are looking and focusing on the obstacles and this applies to business or life, right? And so I'm saying all of this to really just say that, guys, once I started taking action in my imperfectness, like Lisa, like Lisa Nichols likes to say, ignorance on fire. <laughs> Cause I was on fire for business. I was excited about it. So I posted everybody that I could. I practiced every hour that I could. I read books all day, every day, all night. I would stay up late just reading and learning because I became obsessed with growth. And I saw little bitty results every single day, right? And so next thing you know, my website is starting to pull up on Google. And I'm like, well, how is that happening? So then I just began to be a nerd. I just kept reading. I'm gonna just tell y'all this reading is is the key. It's knowledge. Do you know how much Bill Gates and, and, and Warren Buffett and and what's the guy that does Tesla? I forgot his name. But they talk about how many books they read a year. And it's insane. And that the books is what helped them get to where they were going. Knowledge is what enlightens you. And it helps you. It makes you aware of the opportunities and the things that have been looking in your face the whole time. And so because I started taking action in my imperfectness, in my brokenness, I was coming. I was depressed. I was still depressed. Right. I was slowly getting out of it. But I was depressed coming out of an abusive situation. And really just trying to figure out what life was about because I had so many. I was living my life based on other people's rules. I was in so many different types of, you know, whatever. And I just kept on, I came on out, can't kept on trying. I kept showing up for work. I kept posting. I kept doing what I was doing. And next thing you know, I was in the right place at the right time. And so, so much so that people would go to the school and say, she's doing something wrong because she has all these clients. No, I went out on my breaks and I hustled with flyers. 
On my lunch break, instead of going to smoke a cigarette, I went across the street to the grocery store. And I looked for some people that could come. Hey, you want to come get your hair washed? $20 at the beauty school. I was developing these skills. And what I like to call my hustle muscle. And so I realized the power of Google. And then I became even more obsessed. And little did I know, the YouTube videos and the blogger.com, right? These things were like the catalyst to every other thing that I would do. Because one of the reasons that I won that contest, again, I told you guys, I won a contest with L'Oreal. Everybody know what company L'Oreal is, right? So they have a division called Matrix. They had a contest. They wanted to pay people to travel around the world for six months, all expenses paid, plus you get a check, but your only requirement was to be a blogger. Guess what my first website was? Blogger.com. And then a year or so later, I win this competition, right? And my job is to be a blogger. Little did I know, I just accidentally started blogging. Isn't that crazy how it works? Isn't that crazy how it works? So my point is, there are resources right in front of your face that you're not utilizing, and I hope to encourage you. So what I did was write down what I, I, I was thinking about the story, and I was like, you know what? Let me just tell everybody the things that I did within my first two years of business, and these were all like free resources. So my eyes are squinting if you're just joining because I have allergies right now. Blogger.com, okay, Wix.com, Craigslist. I went and named all of the different things so you guys can have this, okay? Now... So you go to LakeishaMichelle.com, and yes, I love that pic. What pic? Oh, the pic on the front. <laughs> this is the front of it. I didn't print it in the right size or the right color. So this is what you get when you join my email list. And I'm just going to keep compiling worksheets, and it'll just be a booklet for you. All right, so if you go to LakeishaMichelle.com, and then there's a, where it says join, click here to join my newsletter. So listen, um, here's the deal. There's something that you can be using right now to grow whatever it is you want to grow there are free resources that you can be using right now to grow whatever it is that you want to grow it's up to you to wipe the stuff out your eyes so that you can see with possibility okay now my number two i said number two because my number one resource somebody tell me what you think my number one resource is i'm pretty sure you already know but my number two resource um as far as it's free and i can use it as much as i want Hey guys, I see you guys saying hi. What's up, Ebony? What's up, Nalula? Styles? I see you guys. Okay, y'all, the comments are lit. I just want to acknowledge Eugene, Lynn. So listen, the number two resource the number two resource, resource that I use is YouTube. YouTube. Everybody and their mama have probably been screaming at you, looking at Lula. I already know, because I've been fussing in my in my inner. Everybody and anything that, that, that any of my classes, I'm like, get on YouTube. What is wrong with you guys? Do you know I've helped people sell houses on YouTube because they put the the tour of the house. They put it on YouTube. I've helped people book a band on YouTube. I've helped people get hair customers from YouTube. I've helped people start their blog so they could just vent and talk about whatever they want to talk about on YouTube. Not to mention, again, YouTube is the thing that get that generates me the most leads in my business. A lead is a contact, a name, phone number, and email address, okay? So, and half of you guys all come from social media. And so, the reason why I'm saying that is because there are so many free things and I've had people pay me $1,000, $400, $47, everything in between and they still go right past that and you're looking for something else and YouTube is so simple. It's free. It's Google. I don't know about you guys, but I do know that Google ain't going nowhere. Honey, between Google and Amazon, you can wrap it up. There, is, Google is not going anywhere, and Google owns YouTube. Hey, Elizabeth, Google owns YouTube. So the reason why it works is because Google is a search engine, and every time someone needs something, they go to the search engine. So if you could be the answer to your, your customer's question every day, what do you think that looks like? What do you think that? What kind of life would that give you? 
Think about that. If you could be the thing that pops up on a video that gives someone a solution over and over and over and over again. Exactly. Exactly. And so, I don't know about you guys, but my plea is that you get your books on YouTube. Now, you may say, what would I post on YouTube? Ugh, my eyes are watering, y'all. You may say, what would I post on YouTube? Here's the deal. <laughs> Nalula, like, okay. Nalula, you know I done already told you on time out. So, <laughs> so some of my members of my uh, my online courses, they're on the live streams for those of you who are who are like, what? <laughs> Nalula, like, stop it. And I'm like, for real, guys? Because they already know they've been they've been paying me for the last who knows what and still ain't on YouTube the way they need to be. But it's okay because the perfect time is always now, right? Don't be sitting up worried about what you shoulda, coulda did. Just start now. So you may be wondering, what, what, what would I post on YouTube? So my number one thing that people follow me for is how-to videos. I'm in it. I love it, Sulan. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And Sulan, you ain't seen nothing yet because I'm only getting better every year. So that's another story. But listen, the types of things that you want to post. The types of things that you want to post. And, and first of all, let me tell you the number one thing you don't want to do when entering YouTube. You don't want to enter YouTube with the attitude of, I've had, and, and it's in the, it, I hate to say this, especially in the black community, especially in the beauty black community, people start their sentences off with, I don't want people, you know, looking at, there's always some I have things I would never even think of. Like, I don't even know how to think like that. I'm like, whoa, that's why I teach mindset. So before I got into the beauty industry as a, as to, to actually teach, I was like, I'm never talking to the beauty industry because I worked in the beauty industry for so long and I saw the mindset and I was like, nah, that's too heavy of a lift. I'd rather just, you know, do something else. Like I was, and, and, and Lisa Nichols was like, Lakeisha. So you just get to let people just be like, if you know something and they need it and you know that you can help them, then you've got to help them see what the possibility looks like. So you have to be willing to show up and teach and you have to be willing to do blah, blah. And I was like, all right. But I still started with the attitude of, ugh. And then when I, re first of all, I love teaching. So it's a passion of mine, right? And so I didn't quit my day job. I just started it on the side, right? But when I started to really understand the power of YouTube, I was like, oh my goodness. When I, I went on, I went out of town for pretty much a year. So I won the contest with L'Oreal. I traveled for six months and then they kept inviting me back because <laughs> I'm the bomb. <laughs> but no, they just kept right. They were like, Keisha, you're amazing. Like, we love you. You keep adding value. You're singing songs. You're helping the mentors. You're doing blah, blah, blah. So like, they just brought me back, right? And so I was still, I still had a lot of access to a lot of the things. And I was like, wow. So I was pretty much gone for the whole year. And while I'm on the road, people start calling me saying, Hey, I saw your Holly Berry video. I want to get my hair done. And I'm like, hello, hello? H how did you see that? What? What are you talking about? People are calling me and they're trying to get their hair done because I posted a Holly Berry video. Now, what I wanted when I posted that video was to show my clients how to do their hair at home. So when I posted that video, guess what I was doing? I was getting ready to do my hair at home. <laughs> And so I turned on my little cheap webcam. I had on my little robe thing. You know the little thing you wrap up with? What is that thing called? I don't know. The Velcro thing that is not, it's like a, it's not a towel. I don't know. Anyway, I had that on and I didn't have on any makeup, I don't think. No, I didn't. And I'm in my studio apartment. My boyfriend came over. He's walking around with no shirt on and he's ironing. So you see, and the funny thing, that's one of the most comments in the video. Who that man in the background? Because he ain't got no shirt on. And they like, it's just the funniest ghetto video. And it's the most watch, you know, half a million views later. Two, over two million views on the channel. Later, it's still going, right? And so, <laughs> isn't that funny? The little People like, who that man in the background? The comments on anything. My favorite thing to do now is read comments. Because, Anyway, so... I'm literally, I just stopped and I realized that, whoa, like I literally had the unction. I, I, I was thinking about my customer. So there's several lessons in this. 
One, think about your customer. I created what people asked me for, okay? I created what people asked me for, and I didn't wait for the perfect time. I didn't try to go get the perfect camera. I didn't try to get the perfect lighting. Mind you, I graduated from broadcasting school, so it is a sin in my teacher's books the way I do things because it's not proper, okay? But I didn't try to go get anything proper. I was like, oh, yeah, we about to go. Okay, hold on, let me just put, let me cut the camera on. And I start doing my hair in the camera. And it's just the most ghetto video. And it worked. <laughs> it helped people. And so that my phone started ringing while I was out of town. So when I came back, it wasn't hard to find customers. Because now I had this thing that was working on my behalf while I was gone. Come on, somebody. Some of y'all waiting for the perfect something. Worried about something. I don't like, I think I had hair under my arms. I'm like all like this. Y'all know I be always complaining on my, if you follow me on Facebook and Snapchat, I'm always like, why am I so hairy? Like literally, I I was not perfect, right? And I posted the video anyway. What's up, Tony? Is that the DJ I just met yesterday? So the whole thing is I used what I had. I started imperfect. I was trying to help someone. So many times we try to get rich before helping people. But what I find is that you get more when you help people. So many people ask me why I do this. First of all, because I actually get off on helping people. And I love, like I went to broadcasting school because I really could be, a, I work in a news station eight hours a day, but I don't like the news. So that won't work. So I just created Lakeisha Michelle Network where I can talk all the time, anytime about what I want. If you don't like it, change the channel. Boop. Okay. So that's what happened. But it was, I just want to help people. So if I know how to do it and it's something that I really care about, and I love teaching. My, my mother has her doctor's degree. My, everybody is teaching something, even if it's Sunday school. So it's just, that's who I am. So why not in my pastime, when I'm getting ready to go, we were getting ready to go to some party. And I was like, oh, let me turn on the camera. Turning on that camera changed my life. It opened my mind up. I began to meet people all over the world from the internet. And I still meet people all over the world from the internet to this day. So many people in the UK. It's crazy. They're like, Keisha, Keisha. And I'm like, I talk to people all around the world. It's crazy. Cindy just prayed for me. She's in New Zealand. Like, what? She's in New Zealand. Ain't no telling what time it is there for her. Cindy, are you still on here? So, yes, the best time really the only time is now exactly cindy lucy she right there see the only time is now because you got to think about it. i saw somebody post today that they thought they were dying and so i was just thinking to myself it's a lot of weird situations going on where you think you know and it, in an instant life could be different in an instant your life could be over how do you want to what do you what do you want to go out as sitting here waiting on sitting here waiting on the perfect moment the perfect phrase some of you guys are worried about how you sound. Some of you guys are worried about how you look. I purposely kept coming. I could have easily said, no live stream tonight. I don't care. Like, it's, nothing's going to happen if I don't live stream. I can lay in my bed comfortably and, you know, whatever. But I was like, no, I'm going to go on because you don't have to be perfect. Why do you need to be perfect? Who Show me a perfect man, right? And so I say that, can you just pick a day, a week? For what? I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I'm looking at the comments. So... The whole thing is using your free resources. And YouTube is something that I just don't understand why people are not utilizing it. It's it's your opportunity to tell your story, whatever your story is. So if you just want to do how-to videos and you're a beauty professional, go for it. How many people have we seen that decide to like really just do it for fun and then turns to some Michelle Fon turned YouTube into a hundred million dollar empire. Yep, I said 100 million. It's crazy, right? Hey, now, how you doing? Hey, Jackie. <laughs> love it. Boop. I'm just saying. Cindy Lou is in my future. Oh, I love it. 2.36 on Friday. Oh, wow. So so the whole thing is... Sorry, it sounds like I have Tourette's. If you, I'm reading the comments, y'all. So the whole thing is, what free resources are you using or not using? So what I did was create you guys a list of stuff... And then the types of things that you post. Because most people are still sitting up talking about what, what am I going to post? Oh my God. And then the reason why the video that, that turned my channel out was because 
I, I ask people what they want and then I create it. So I don't really do anything. I'm trying to think what I do that I don't, you yeah, know, everything I do today is because somebody asked me to do it. Right. And so again, I get to do like, I do what people need. So I'm never, it's never like, oh my God, will this work? It's never that because I don't do it unless people ask for it. A lot of people until I validate the idea. Okay, so that's another business lesson. Validation is so, 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 so important. Okay, so I got this for you guys. Go to LakeishaMichelle.com and you can download the um, worksheets, a couple worksheets. These are going to keep building up. So the type of video, the first video was a how-to video. So over the next couple of days, I want to start talking about the types of videos that you can post on your YouTube channel that will get you seen, that will get you customers, that will build an audience for you. A lot of you guys are trying to sell before having an audience. It's actually easier to sell to a group of people. How do you build up a group of people? You literally just build them up one by one. You begin to talk to people who are interested in the things that you're interested in. And so you become a human and you just be normal and you just talk to them on the internet or in person and then if you meet them in person you send them to your facebook and then you give value how do you give value you do like i did and literally the customers that were getting their hair done um they asked a question and so even though the appointment that they paid for was done i wanted them to win and that do you know do you know how far that goes even though they weren't in my chair in that very second giving me money to create that video. I created the video because I just want them to be comfortable when they're not around me. I want them to know how to maintain their stuff when they're not around me. That gives them a reason to come back to me because now I've educated them. And see, most people were at, at that time especially were telling me, well, why are you doing that? Because then if you, if you teach them how to do it, they're not going to come back. I never had that thought. I wasn't thinking about that. I still don't think like that because I'm just like, that's not true. Because that's, I don't know. That's just not, I just I'm not wired to think like that. Again, I know from reading books and from, you know, talking to wealthy people and listening to them on the internet, they look at opportunity. They don't look at the obstacles. And so... I want to encourage you guys to put that type of mentality on for the month. of. I'm asking you for 30 days. Uh, it ain't 30 days in February. I know. Somebody going to be technical. Whatever. The month. Do it for a month. Four weeks. However you want to count it up. But resourceful is having the ability to find quick and clever ways to overcome difficulties. And so whatever difficulties you see, just pray that God show you the quick and clever way. That's really, really good. That's actually really, really good. God, show me the quick and clever way to overcome this difficulty. Thank you, Lord, for showing me the quick and clever way to overcome this difficulty. Come on. Come. Anybody talk to God like that? I do. Lord, show me my next best step. I know you will. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm done. I don't have to be like, oh. Like, you know, there's a time for that. But for the, the, in general, you could just be like, God, show me. And then expect it. Remember, we're talking about the we're talking about Jabez all month. There was an expectancy with his prayer. He didn't say, if you would, then I'm gonna. He said, Oh God, if you would bless me indeed. Indefinitely. Forever. All the time. 24-7. And then don't take your hand off me. Because I need you. So I need you to, I'm gonna be looking to see where your hand is at. You wake up in the morning. You're like, okay, he's still there. You wake up in the morning, gets like this. Uh, uh, where you going, Lord? Hey, how you doing? I need you to keep your hand right here. Keep your hand on me. Because when these blessings get to rolling in, I don't need them haters on me. So keep your hand on me. I'm going to be looking at your hand. And I'm going to need you to just keep your hand on me. Keep your hand on me, Lord. Because when they come for me, I need to be, I need to be taken care of. Okay? Because I know it's going to work. That's what Jabez is that. I, oh, bless me. Enlarge my coast, my territory. Indeed. Thank you. Now, don't leave me. Don't leave me. I'm just saying. Don't leave me, Jesus. I like. Please stay. Sam Smith, stay with me. Like, I need you to stay, Lord. That's all I know. I don't need you to go nowhere. I need you to stay. And we're going to do this thing. And that's pretty much how you have to live your life. <laughs> Y'all are silly. Y'all are silly. 
I'm just saying. <laughs> Most people have complexes. I see somebody saying they have a complex with their accent. The funny thing about accents is that most people think accents are cool like and you know you have to just you gotta think about it my name's lakeisha williams two of the ghettoest blackest names and it's only ghetto because somebody deemed it ghetto but like it's just you can't get no blacker than a williams besides jenkins <laughs> but like growing up people made fun of people with the last name williams people made fun of people with the name lakeisha and so my mom was like mm -mm, you're not gonna go by that like they tried to change my last name to Jones because my my aunt my great aunt adopted me y'all. So their last name is Jones. And so and Jackson, that's true. Look. <laughs> and it, and then the black community is just one of those things where it's like your name is ghetto. Shaquita, Laquita, Bonquita, like all of that made up stuff that we do for whatever reason. When I was growing up, my mother was like, no, you will not be labeled this way. And you're going to speak like, I don't know, that's not right. But it's just what happened, right? And so I had a long time figuring out, you know, I was trying to hide my name. And then I realized it's so much trouble when somebody tried to write me a check. Because they're like, who is Michelle? And who is Lakeisha? Why are there so many names? And I would be like, oh. and then I just said, forget about it. Lakeisha Michelle. That's where that came from, if you ever wonder. So that way, if you knew me from a neighborhood or if you knew me from work, you know, nobody's confused. So, but my point is, <laughs> my point is, there are so many resources there that you can use. And there's so many reasons why you shouldn't. There's so many reasons why you don't think you're ready. There's so many reasons why you think that you're not good enough. And I'm just here to push you forward and let you know that even though that is what you feel even though that is you know whatever don't 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 worry about it just start and if you feel like your speaking is is crazy then take some speaking classes but don't just not do because you feel like you speak funny i talk funny all the time i'm country as all outdoors when i hear myself play back i talk too fast i'm country and depending on if i'm talking to some of my family members my words get really lazy because we have thick southern accents so mm, it just happens. And then you'll catch me on an interview like, and my name is Lakeet. Thank, thank you so much. And then, 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 so, hey, it just is what it is. Exactly. Exa actually, they see you as authority. Exactly. Hey, Lakeisha, hear you. Hey, boo. Romance with the Lord. I know that's right. I'm begging you to get it together. <laughs> that me, that's me, girl. My name too long and made up. Right. Hey, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Y'all are hilarious. Y'all are hilarious. Y'all know I like to have fun. If y'all, if you too professional and proper and perfect, please get off my channel because I go so I. Nobody wants to hear. Why do we think it's okay to go on people's channels and say that you need to sit up straight, talk proper, you look better with long hair? Oh, that's cute, but I like this. Who asked you? Like, get off my chick. Did I ask you for your opinion? And I'm pretty sure if he was in my face, you wouldn't say that. See, this is why I need Jesus. I need him. Oh, I need him. Because I'm about to go off. Like, these comments, yo, where I'm from, you don't really do that unless you bow some, you know? But I'm going to keep it together. The point is, there are free resources that you can use to promote yourself like this and it actually works and you guys are not doing it so my real question is why are you not doing it what will you lose what what here's the question what's going to happen if you continue february like you did january i'm just saying y'all know i'm silly ain't nobody about to do nothing beware but i was looking at these comments like why do people do this what what makes people think they can do this but my question is you know when you gonna start and you have to start afraid because you're gonna uh, y'all contrary people always say keisha you don't get afraid yes i do 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 i just have that little wild hair in me that just goes oh well and i just do it anyway because fear is always gonna be there fear is there you guys if you see me doing professional shows before i get on stage i got the butterflies my nerves are excited. Like, it's going down. But I just have to go anyway. Before I go do something new or something different. I mean, I definitely have fear. But you just have to do it. Fear doesn't go anywhere. People keep saying, I don't believe that. I don't believe that you just don't have any fear. I mean, you know. Even when you've come to a place where what you're doing, you're used to it now. And you're ready for it. Once you begin to grow again, there's going to be something that you're like, oh my God, and then you're going to grow past it, and then you're going to grow again, and then there's going to be something else 
to me, that's what life is about. It's overcoming. Life is about overcoming and constantly getting better and getting smarter. So the end. So I love heard you talk. You make me laugh. Thank you. Y'all cracking up. Y'all know I'm silly. <laughs> I can't afford to live February like January. Right, girl, snap. Get it together. I am. Love you. You are amazing. Thank you, guys. Lakeisha's human. Thank you, Lynette. Can, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you guys are amazing. So here's my request. My request is that you at least create a YouTube channel. My request is that you at least create a YouTube channel and start brainstorming. So on this sheet, I wrote out a couple of things that you can do for your business, a couple of types of videos that you can do for your business, okay? So you can get this free worksheet at LakeishaMichelle.com. Now, for those of you who have already signed up, welcome to my Inner Circle Mastermind, okay? It's like my little club for the year. And what I'm committed to doing all year is just dropping in knowledge, classes, tutorials, having live events so that you guys can get more, so you can actually understand it, so you can stay in action, so that you're not just sitting and overwhelmed by yourself. Um, you are the sum of the five people that you hang around. So I want people that are game changers, people that are willing to hold their, their partner accountable. I want to bring my mentors into this. I want to bring you to their events at a discount price. Like I'm excited about it, right? And um, the inner circle basically... It's my mastermind called the CEO stylist, right? And what this includes is I'm going to teach you YouTube and video creation. One thing I'm dedicated to that I didn't do last year is um, I I'm just going to do way more repetition because people learn through repetition. And so um, designating times for video creation so that you can actually keep you learn. I don't know about you guys, but when I watch something over and over and over in a short spurt, I can actually learn it and just, you know, I, I take quicker action because it wasn't so long and, and the concept was broken down really really simple and so the ceo stylist when you log in right now it's online i don't know where my ipad is or i'll be showing you guys this right now i hope i didn't lose my ipad it'll be like the 50th device i've lost <sighs> anyway um what this is when you log on sulan i love it she says i learned through repetition when you log into uh lakeishamichelle.com you can click join the ceo stylist mastermind and there are already three courses that are in there and then on monday we're just going to go through each day a course upload and it's business one-on-one -on -one. so you can figure out where your business is and where your business wants to go and grow to and then i'll show you my process to actually map out how to get there right because everybody's stuck in the how everybody's not moving because they just like i want to see everything before i actually start and so i want to show you the processes because actually it's not smart you need there's certain things you need to do before you just go all in on a business idea and so I'm just committed to having that conversation. I love live streaming with you guys. So each month there'll be live stream trainings where you can actually ask me your questions. You also can take a class. Say you wake up and take one of my classes in the membership area. This is online. Say you wake up, you take a class, and then you have a question. Well, you have email office hours. And so what you can do is actually send me an email and I'll just send you a voice reply so that you can... Make sure you don't have to wait 50 hours, boom, get the voice reply and you take action. Or you can send me another email and say, well, what about this, right? And so it's just a business inner circle um, and it's going to allow you to have tools that I use today for my business. A lot of you guys want to teach courses. A lot of you guys want to promote your book with the like, YouTube videos or a lot of you guys need to make flyers. A lot of you guys need to just keep practicing sales. A lot of you guys just want accountability. I've had several calls today and the number one goal was people wanted accountability. And so I was like, how do I do different? How do I up level what I did last year? Last year, last year I made six figures online teaching online courses, right? And the results are amazing. The testimonies are still pouring in. I'm in awe. I'm just like, wow. Like, I, I'm just like, wow, because people actually doing the work and it works. Like I'm not teaching things that are so over your head. I'm helping people get financial success in their business and think differently so that they can also create other things for themselves. Cause I'm not Jesus. I can't help you do everything. But if you want to get more clients, if you want to make better sales, if you want to understand how to use the internet, free tools like Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube to get more customers. If you want to learn how to craft your sales pitch and, you know, have customers calling you on a regular basis. I've, re I've created a recurring revenue business. I've created several one-off online courses, right? If you want to learn how to do those things, if you want to learn how to actually um, 
one big thing that I learned how to do is pay myself as an employee, right? And not get overwhelmed. And I was running my numbers all wrong, thinking that all the money that came in, I was I was trying to take one lump sum of money and pay rent for the house, rent for the salon. I was just confused. And I was always overwhelmed when people talked about budgeting. And so I'm super excited with the partners that I'm going to work with when it comes to finance. But also I show you what, what I'm doing um, now and what works, what's been working. And so that you can just finally start to save yourself. Um, and it just requires discipline. So if you go to LakeishaMichelle.com, bye Cindy Lou. <laughs> I love it. I love it. She got her YouTube channel. Um, so exactly i get it so it becomes second nature exactly so if you go to lakeishamichelle.com literally for what is it less than three dollars a day you can start <coughs> excuse me guys you can start um learning so the mastermind you get a year access last year i did 30 days and i realized that people just need time to chew on the information and then also there were just so many other lessons that i wanted to teach and i don't want to have to create all these different membership websites and all this stuff. I was like, what if I just have a one year membership? Just like when you go do, I don't know, you could pay for your gym membership for the month or you could pay by the year. That's what I've created for people that want to rock in my tribe. So this is literally less than $3 a day, $85 a month, six payments of 85 bucks. So for $20 a week, you can literally have access to, to for accountability, to get coaching on something that you're working on, like making the YouTube videos, making the flyers, getting more customers, something that you're stuck at. Maybe you have you want to validate a business idea and you want me to actually watch you as you're doing that. Coming to one of the live events, the people in this group actually get a discounted price, right? Um, so if you're interested in building your brand, increasing your revenue stream, developing an email list. Biggest mistake I made was getting all... Almost 3 million views later, it took me forever to get an email list. 3 million views later, it took me forever because I just, I don't know, I just didn't, I wasn't paying attention. I was being lazy. Call it what you want. But that's one of the biggest things that I did, and that, that I didn't do. Um, and it's no big deal because I'm doing it now. And so my list is growing and that's exciting, right? But guys, these are free resources, like free, free tools that you can use to leverage your intellectual property to leverage selling your products to leverage getting more butts in seats at your live events to leverage getting more listen all my speakers a lot of my friends have books and they keep hitting me up about different things it's like create meetups create meetups that's a free resource you can create meetups and have people meet you at starbucks and you can speak to people for free and a percentage of those people will want to buy your pamphlet buy your product buy your coaching that works it works and people don't do it it's crazy but it's just the way that it is. So I'm inviting you guys and only game changers, only people who are willing to do the work, only people who don't mind repetition, only people who are looking to go do it and then come back, measure the results and then start again. And you're going to do that over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And you're going to watch yourself grow. One thing I realize is that in business, you know, you don't really see anything for three to six months when you start changing your habits, three to six months. Most people are trying to see massive, you know, all this stuff in, in 30 days. You need about three to six months. Everything that you experience right now in your life is a result of the last 90 days, right? If you really think about what's happening right now, it's a result of the last 90 days. Did you prepare? Were you whatever? Like, was you working out? Was you eating good? Like, it don't, in 30 days, you don't get as big as you get in 90 days when you look up and go, what, where, where did that stomach come from? Well, what have you been eating for the last 60, 90 days, right? So you've got to really look at that, right? And so I use that example. It's funny, but it's so true. And what I'm committed to this year and what I'm excited about is just teaching all of the stuff that I do that works. Like literally, I'm not going to tell you some random stuff that I Googled. This is how I built this salon business. This is how I built this online training company business. This is how I do this. This is how I connect the websites. This is how I make the YouTube videos. This is how I make the flyers. This is how I take my own photo shoots. This is how I set up the lighting. This is how I set up the camera. This is how I edit the videos. That's what everybody think they need. Now, let me tell you this. Don't join if you're not ready to do the work because I will be just another program on your shelf. And I'm not interested in that kind of money. I'm not interested in that kind of client. I'm not interested in that kind of energy. I'm interested in people that are like, yo, I'm about to do what she said and I'm gonna come back and tell her what's popping and she's gonna help me. If she can't help me, she's gonna find something and we're gonna do this together. What I do know is we're gonna make it. We're gonna come up, we're gonna elevate together. The theme of this year with that group is elevation. I want everybody in that group to elevate. 
babe. It was such a blessing to talk to one of my members last night. She bought the full pay. You could pay in a payment plan. Listen, six payments of $85, 30 days apart. So $85 today and 30 days apart. Now, there's only 60, there was, I don't know how, it's not 60 slots anymore, but I only set it at 60 for the $85 payments. And this course is, the value of this course is $9.97. So you're gonna get this course at a whopping $4.97. So half off right now for the first people, right? Because I, I want the testimonials and I already know I'm gonna get them. I love it, Sulan, like we gonna elevate. Sulan, I cannot wait to meet you. I'm coming to where you are. I'm so excited about that too. So listen, Here's the deal. I was talking to one of my members last night and it's so funny because I don't know how I missed that she was my member, <laughs> but she bought one and she paid in full. So for the next eight people that pay in full, you actually get um, four 30 minute one on one sessions with me. And so she was one of the ones that paid in full and uh, we were just kind of chatting and she was like, she had so many. She was so professional. And I was like, dang, man, she own it. I'm like, I love it. And then she was like, you told me to do that. I'm like, what you mean? She's like, I'm in this class and this class and I'm just using with the worksheets that you gave us. I was like, oh, because I was like, how does she have all of the things that I want to know? How is this this lady knowing I got to help people figure it out? She was like, boom, boom, boom. I'm just trying to go high. I was like, yes. So, so I'm looking for those kind of people, the kind of people that just, they just work and you do the work, you come back up for a minute and you do the work. I'm not going to baby you. I'm not going to try to persuade you. It's just, it's here. And for those people that would love to work with me and know how I run my business, um, I'm just in awe. I'm just so blessed. I'm like, wow, I never thought I would not be, have to do hair anymore, right? And so it's a blessing. I'm super excited. I'm honored to share what I know. And I don't want it to feel like it's a secret. Your ish is working, man. Thank you. Uh, and the, what I love is that all my members be on all this. Like, it's just, we just come up together. Mindsets are changing. You guys are becoming more spiritual and you're making more money. And that's what I love because I think that the more we chase God, the more, you know, elevation happens and the more he gets to pray. So it's like, yo, we just only need to just keep going. Um, let's see. Thank you. Thank you guys for all the nice comments. I love it. Do you have a book out? Yes, it's called The CEO Stylist. I have a book out called The CEO Stylist. Uh, Lakeisha, do you recommend this class for me or should I still process the other class? Yvonne, I think that um, and you're going to end up buying one of the one-offs. If you, You're you going to save money if you get in now because 20 of you guys that were already in um, last year's, I gave you guys the first 20, you have a discount code. So I would recommend it. And your discount code for the month is like, it's a yes, just get it. And here's what I want you to do. Really, you should be one-on-one, -on -one, Yvonne, so you could focus. Um, so inbox me. How about that? Um, get the program and do the work. It works. Thank you, Tori. Thank you, Tori. So what I love is that these are members from last year. Um, I would love to know how to market my books. Yeah, like, so guys, books you books is speaking. So the CEO style is the reason why I can do this train. Like, the book was the conversation piece. And so I wrote the book um, last year. And then I created the curriculum. And so, um, and then you have to go speak. And and some of you guys are just not utilizing all the free ways to speak. Every time I give people a list of strategies, um, nobody, everybody's looking for something else. And it's like, you gotta get on a tour that you create yourself. And so you've gotta find and try to speak every single place that you want to. You gotta call around and book yourself solid or pay your Pay somebody to call for two hours a day, five days a week to get yourself booked, right? Or if you already have an audience online, create a, a segment where, like, for example, look at what I do in the morning times. There's no product actually behind Good Tea for Life yet, but oh, please believe I'm always going to monetize stuff, right? When the time is appropriate. But even this, like I share, I love teaching for free. And I offer people to come join me. It's no pressure. Everybody comes, keeps showing up every night because they already know they're going to get value from my free stuff, right? And so if there's no sneakiness happening. You buy, you buy, you don't, you don't, right? And everybody wins. But the 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 reason for a book, like especially like the Amazon books, like you get you do that to start the conversation. To, so people read my book and they were like, Oh my God. And then they called and they were like, I need more. What else you got? That's the reason for the book. I'm not worried about the book sales. I don't I haven't even downloaded. I see the email when I get book sales, but I'm like, I'll just let that money sit over there and one day be like, Ooh, vacation money. Right? Because it's not like you're making a massive 
unless you have some big old audience, I don't know. You, I mean, to make a lot of money from an ebook, you need a big audience, and that's a whole other conversation. I've seen, I have some friends who, um, because their audience was so big, they did the ebook straight to their audience, and so the audience would just buy it, and you know, they made like you know, but it still was no more than ten thousand dollars, considering what you get. I think the the easiest way to get people is just re let them read your book. And then the people who want to work with you, they're going to be like, oh my gosh, she's my soulmate mentor. Boom, let me go work with her. The book is the conversation. The book is the business card. A lot of people keep talking about how focused on their book they are. And I'm like, guys, the book is, you want people to get it so that they can have the conversation. So teaching from your book free on live stream so that people can get the book, they can read the book, and then they just become a part of your tribe. And then over time, they'll work with you. Amen, amen, amen. Yes, yes, yes. I love it. Who's in the UK? Let me know. I have a lot of UK followers. That's a win-win. I will be writing an ebook for my hair course. What is the best online platform to sell it? Um, I love Amazon, and I have a connection for Amazon. Um, if you want to use the lady who did my book. Okay, so I can write the book and use it to build. Yeah, it's a conversation starter. It's totally a conversation starter. And I've seen people launch books to their list privately or just have the book as a free download. And it's not even on Amazon. They just have it as a PDF and they call it an ebook because it is an internet book, right? If it's over, you know, 10 pages, that's a book. <laughs> so um, let's see. Yes, we're going to elevate. I learned through repetition. Do you guys. So guys, LakeishaMail.com, click on Join the CEO Stylist Mastermind. And um, yeah, that's it. You have payment options. So whatever you, whatever is comfortable. The people that do the full pay, um, at this point, there are slots left for one-on-one. -on -one. You get four 30-minute one-on-one sessions as well as you have a business vault. So think of it like Netflix. When you log into Netflix, there's a bunch of videos, right? And you can watch, you can laugh, you can cry, whatever. So when you log into this website, there's a bunch of videos. You can learn how to get clients. You can learn how to make sales. You can learn how to whatever. Like It's the same scenario, right? But just different container. Different container. I'm doing a PDF. As simple as the answer. I missed, I missed it. I don't know what that means. Um, my roommate is like, who are you always listening to every day? I'm like, my coach. Tori, I love you. Tori, I will tell you this. You have such a light about you and such a glow. You give, you give tips. I see you doing the work. I love that. I see you doing the work. And I love when you, like, I just love when people take, just go take, they take it and run with it. Right? And Tori, I, I just seen, all my, my tribe is amazing. Like, I need to actually do better at showing everybody else you guys' testimonials. I'm going to do better at that this year. That way, it's not, like, random. But, yeah, you can go. That's the, what, I, what I wanted. My point for tonight is to make sure that you guys understand and get this and start filling it out. Like, go next to how-tos and write up. Think of all the, the how-tos that you can make for your business. Think of all the tours you can do for your business. So, tomorrow night, what's tomorrow? Friday? Well, tomorrow during the afternoon... Um, we're going to talk about um, another way that you can use YouTube. Tonight was all about the how-to. Okay, so the how-to video generates still to this day any type of how-to video that I do. Um, and for most people, the how-tos, you go on YouTube to learn stuff. Like when we don't know how to tie a tie, we went to YouTube. When we don't know how to cook, the, I, I've been trying to make the perfect steaks, I'm on YouTube. When I need to know how to do some techie stuff because I'm a nerd and I like techie stuff, I go to YouTube. So think about it. What would it feel like if your client was looking for, you know, I don't know, somebody give me something they do for a living so I can show you how quickly other people are getting business because of Google, right? But, it oh, Sulan. Sulan is selling hair. I never thought to use a PDF. Yeah, you can use a PDF. It's too, these days, people don't care as long as they get it, they can read it. PDF is just as valuable. It's not about the method. It's about the message. That was good. That was really, really, really good. I'm going to just let that sit for a second. It's not about the method. Oh, yeah, grant writing, yes. It's not about the method. It's about the message. And so the best writers are not in bookstores. The best singers are not on stage because we get caught in the how, right? You get caught in the, in the, oh my God, will it work? Oh my God, how is it going to work? Um, will they like it? Uh, how do I upload this and what is that word? Oh my God, I'm confused. Ah, overwhelmed. Let me go take another class. 
that's how it goes. And it feels like crap. I know because I've been there where I just became a course junkie because it was just overwhelming. And so then you'd be like, finna get, finna get, finna get, finna get, finna get, finna get started, finna get started, finna get. And then nothing really ever happens because it's just like, you keep me on my toes. <laughs> how to make your wigs. Oh, there's a million videos on that. And you still can be million and one. Like, it's never going to get old. Because, again, first of all, I like watching certain type of people on YouTube. So, if you think about it, certain people on YouTube get on my nerves. So, I don't want to watch their wig making videos. So, I need you to make some because, you know, I like watching you. People will be annoyed by me or they're going to like me. Right? So, it's, it just goes all the time. Tiny says that was good. Yes, girl. It's not about the the method because the method is so simple. I do so many free things. I do so many free things. So many free things still to this day. When I can actually pay for whatever, whatever the thing is I can pay for, I still use the freeway because it works. It wasn't broken. Ain't nothing happening. Like, it still works. And so, while everybody does all these sexy methods, and I got friends who don't even know how to do half the stuff on the internet, and they are like... I'm, I'm catching up. They're just like so not tied to the method. And they are so powerful. And they help so many people because they're just tied to the message. And so they will do whatever it takes to get their message out. Like, again, there's no perfect way to be. It's just be yourself and get your message out. That's all. So make sure you go to LakeishaMichelle.com. Listen, even if you don't join the mastermind, um... Once those slots for the mastermind, the price will double. So I recommend to get in where you fit in, right? And so you go to LakeishaMichelle.com, click join the mastermind. And when you join, there's already three full courses um, there. And then the next business one-on-one -on -one stuff starts on Monday. I'm very excited about it because I'm just obsessed now with teaching short classes, short, potent classes. I want to be able to teach in such short parables that are so impactful so i like i just been practicing and i'm like man it's getting good and good and good and easier and easier and easier so that everybody because i want you i don't want you to take my class and not get some like I, I don't want you to take my class and not get help or not do anything so i got to make sure that my content is consumable so i'm super excited about that because it's getting better and i can tell by the amount of people that got success within the last 30 days from the class that I just taught, which was 12 days, 12 classes, um, people were just like blown away and they're like doing stuff instantly because I gave them quick result type classes. So I was like, that's what I'm going to spend this year perfecting because it helps more people get quicker results. Now, some stuff takes time. One thing I was saying earlier is that like three to six months is what I give. Like, even if I have to start doing hair again, I give not my give me 90 days, but in general, I say six months. Like, you can't just... Because you got to grind and you've got to plant the seeds. It's just reaping and hard. Like, you've got to plant the seeds first before you try to get some fruits and vegetables. So, that's just the way that goes. Most people are impatient. They don't want to wait. But you got to wait for them fruits and vegetables. They don't just pop up. You have to plant the seed. Oh, y'all see my... I can, I can look straight now. My allergies are going away. Yay! That's exciting. How to make more sales was great. Thank you, Kiwana. Oh, my God. I got so many awesome testimonies from that class. What I noticed was most people, although they were not making a lot of sales, a lot of people made, made great sales, right? But then the other half of the people were like, I just did stuff that I never did before. And now I feel confident. And now I get it. And now I know what to do. That's even better. Like, that's even better. Because... I just, I love that. That made my day. They were just like, thank you, thank you, thank you. And like, I get it. Because most people get mad at sales. Um, yes, make more sales gave me that jump start. Yay! I love it. And so, I just wanted people to actually focus on, if you focused each day on a certain, adding a certain amount of money to your day, you're going to do things differently. And because you're doing things differently, your life will change, no matter what that looks like, whether... I had people book speaking gigs. People actually just just felt more confident. Personal confidence was built up, right? People just did things that they just never tried before, making videos. Like it was just a lot of different types of breakthroughs. Um, and definitely they were all necessary. I just laughed and smiled because I'm like, good. Because when people signed up, they didn't think they're gonna have to make videos. And I was like, oh yeah. 
videos and people some people were struggling some people didn't post a video for three weeks and they're finally like okay i'm posting now they were so scared so i helped them get over something right and so you've got to understand that even when you take a class anybody's class you always catch something the second and third time around you always so don't just take it one time and be looking for that magical moment take it with open eyes and look for the opportunities and look and just try what they're saying because i mean why not try how to move beyond complicated love relationships oh i could write a book about that i needed that nugget you're welcome tiny i'm going to learn to teach people how to make themselves beautified i love it i came for whatever it takes to get my message out thank you you're welcome cynthia i love it listen guys the world is waiting on you you are waiting on something else but you really are waiting on you right and you got to think about what would life be like in 90 days if i keep doing what i'm doing that's scary to me like i can't like that scares me like and what if this was it like what like what if these next 48 hours are my last 48 hours like how do i want to spend them i want to spend them taking a chance on me i want to spend them loving my family i want to spend them doing the things that i want to do the things that bring me joy like i just you know what i'm saying i hear that the world is waiting on me seriously like, there's so many people. Think about what Google is. Google is a search engine. How many people live in this world? I don't even know. How many people live in this? Let's ask. Okay, let me look. I hope I haven't lost my iPad. How many people live in the world? Okay, let's just look at it. 7.442 billion. And that's as of 2016. So, yeah. Wow. Well, and in the United States alone, there are 323 million. Why am I looking that up? Because Google is what the world uses to search. So if Google has, in the United States alone, if it's 323 million people and they all using Google, it's probably 1 million of those people who don't use Google. <laughs> like everybody uses Google. Why wouldn't you be on YouTube when YouTube is Google and YouTube pushes, I mean, and Google pushes those YouTube videos up to the first page. So you could actually be found out of 323 million people in the world. They can find you and then you can help them. I don't understand why you wouldn't do it. I just don't know, especially when you found me on YouTube. Like most of you guys found me on YouTube. Now, you know, some of you guys found me I don't know, somewhere random. But in general, the majority of my traffic, my number one traffic source is YouTube. So I'm just trying to figure out what y'all waiting on. Go to LakeishaMichelle.com. I just want to look at my life as one big party. Only I am happy sober. I know that's right. That's game. I'm just saying. University of YouTube, I call it. You better help somebody. <laughs> yeah, like, I, and my thing is, like, you can, there's, everything is free online. So you can always go free, find stuff. But the thing is, how much time is it going to cost you? Because I spent years doing all the free searching and it, I lost a lot of time when I should have just invested in a coach. When I realized that there that the difference was getting a coach, oh, I was all over it to the point where I started spending all my money on coaches. But I wasn't worried about it because I knew I'd get my money back, you know, once my mindset was right. Because your mind is the key to everything, right? And so, like, like... Just start with whatever. There's a bunch of free stuff. So you can figure it out. And if you want to figure it out and ask what I'm doing because it's working and it actually runs my business for years now, then I'd have to tell you how to. And because of the time and because of the IP and because of the, the, the shortcuts, you know, you have a small investment. A small investment when you look at the return. And so you can take a YouTube. YouTube does wonders for any business. Any business. I've had a lady, oh my God, my favorite was the lady who fixes, um, I don't know, she does like electrician. She's an electrician or plumbing or something like that. But she, I, I loved how I showed her that YouTube, she started making videos and doing her before. I was just like, this is amazing. You'd be surprised. All kinds of companies are advertising on YouTube and you guys too should. Like YouTube is, they're paying, they have ads and you can pay for ads, but they're not like Facebook where Facebook now wants you to pay to play. YouTube is probably going to get that way. So I definitely would suggest getting on YouTube now, but 
um, you got a while because YouTube is built is it's based on community. YouTube is based on something different. Um, YouTube, Facebook says they are, but they want you to pay basically. But in, on the YouTube, you can just post videos all day and people will naturally just find them because there's a method. You have to know the titles and all that kind of stuff and be consistent. And Google rewards consistency. Google rewards you understanding how to use their platform to give people value. And so my point is, my number two resource is YouTube. It sends me so much business and not just any business. The people that come to me are heartfelt. They're amazing. Their energy is great. I feel like I know them. They call, I talked to a lady yesterday and Top was like, he said, who are you talking to? It sounds like y'all know each other. We didn't know each other. But I, everybody, I feel like I know them because they come from my YouTube channel. So guess what? When I do business with them, I don't have to try to put airs on. I can just be myself and we do business together. It's the best. YouTube sends you soulmate clients. YouTube sends you just amazingness. Like, I mean, amazingness. And so I'm just grateful for YouTube. It's a free resource. And I'm just saying, how about taking a chance on you? I need you. I need, I, what? I, you need a coach when you want to be the best at what you do, right? I think you're saying you need a coach when you want to be the best at what you do. Yes, for sure. I have plenty of coaches. I see people are buying stuff. My phone is going off. University of YouTube, I'm not waiting. Lynn, don't wait anymore. I love y'all. I'm done. Go to LakeishaMichelle.com. You can make um, six payments of $85 separated by 30 days. So you pay six payments of $85 and you that's your yearly fee. So every class that you see me come out with, you will have in your university. And I like that, um, Sulan, in your university. And um, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's all, y'all. If you have any questions, if you don't, if you don't, if you're not clear, go to LakeishaMichelle.com. Just send me a message. The all the information is there. Go there. Make sure you sign up to get this worksheet. I will be talking about this again on tomorrow. More YouTube stuff, but you guys get this worksheet so that you can download it. It's free, and you'll see the option to join my mailing list, and you'll see the option to join my mastermind. Either way, I hope that you join, and I will see you guys. I gotta sneeze. <coughs> I have allergies. I'm going to just go lay in the bed. If I look at the bottle, maybe my nose will stop tingling. See y'all later. I love you guys. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I hope that you got value. Get on YouTube and don't wait till you're perfect because you'll never be. And just have a good time and put your passion out there. Uh, love all the comments. You guys are amazing. So YouTube is the number two resource that sends me the most traffic, the best soulmate clients. I love you guys. The best followers. Even if you don't do business with me, I love that you guys follow. I love that you guys subscribe. So I said, lit. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Mwah, I see all the comments. I love you guys. See you guys on the next video tomorrow in the morning. Good tea for life is gonna be litty. I'm just saying. Make sure I see you guys there in the morning. That is 10:30 a.m. Central. Okay, and meet me back here, Facebook, YouTube. Love y'all. Bye.